quarters into into hotel buildings. They put uh, guns and, and things like that on top of uh, high-rise apartment buildings. Uh, under the Geneva Convention, that gives us a perfect right to go after those things if we wanted to, and we haven't done it. All through the onslaught, Iraq replied with Soviet-built Scud missiles, deliberately targeting civilian areas in Saudi Arabia and Israel. Altogether, 81 were fired, 38 at Israel. Opposing the Scuds, American Patriot missiles. They brought down the 29 Scuds that got close enough to threaten Saudi installations. Scuds proved an effective psychological weapon, even though none reached its target. The damage and casualties were caused by debris from scuds either shot down or simply breaking up in flight. The Battle of the Scuds over Israel. Again, the American Patriots were fired to intercept the incoming missiles. Many were brought down, but in a crowded country like Israel, the debris caused several deaths and injuries. Yet Israel was persuaded not to retaliate. The computerized Patriot anti-missile system was rushed into service from the factory in Massachusetts. And to combat the mid-air breakup of Scuds, it was quickly reprogrammed to target just the warhead. Basically, the computer will determine who's got the best capability of, of uh, intercepting the missile, and the computer will go ahead and designate the unit to engage. I think Patriot is probably the, the uh, is definitely the king of air defense artillery right now, not only for the United States, but probably in all the free world. Have you ever missed? No, I have not.